Right, so here we have um, some rusty bolts, nuts, same with screws, um, anything metal. You can see there's quite a build up of rust on these ones. Um, but obviously, left outside in the rain, uh, unprotected. So, uh, yeah, years of uh, dirt and grime together with, um, I guess, sea uh, or salty rain is. Uh, has real made a mess of these, so I need to use them. I've got no replacements. I don't know where to find replacements. I have no choice. Um, so, how do we get rid of the rust? So, what you need is a container. It could be plastic. It could be glass. It could be metal. Um, ideally, with a lid on. Um, main reason is because you can give it a bit of a shake up, and it will speed up um, the process of uh, de-rust. Uh, second to that you need some uh, vinegar any vinegar will work um, I've used uh, basically some cider vinegar that I found in the in the kitchen um, snuck it out whilst the missus is uh, in the bath she'll only be five minutes she won't even know it's gone you only use a little bit um, you might see now that uh, I've got the, the nuts and bolts in the jar um, halfway through just recording that last uh, uh, part, my um, memory run out, so I just had to cut. And uh, but um, yeah, so they got the bits in there. If we just pour enough to cover, plus a bit more, and you only use you know pennies worth or cents worth if you're one of my American friends. Uh, Daddy's doing a video, oh. and um, so you put it in there, make sure you've got a nice tight seal, give it a shake, it just starts the curing process uh, uh, you know, to de-rust, and then just leave it, you can agitate it every every hour, every two hours, or not at all, um, wait 24 hours, and uh, well, fingers crossed for us both, um, they'll be gleaming and uh, ready to use uh, on your next project. Right, so we've left it for exactly 24 hours. Uh, you'll now notice that I've got a slightly large jar, uh, this time with no lid. Um, I kind of about two hours after uh, the initial uh, drop-in, I give this a nice shake. Um, didn't realise how strong I really was because I managed to, uh, well, break the bottom out of the jar. Um, so earlier on in this uh, actual video, I shall note that uh, rather than advising to use plastic glass cans, I think plastic. Go for plastic, you know, just a 500 mil um, Coke bottle or something like that, and uh, you shouldn't have any issues then. So, I haven't touched this yet. There's a very grim colour, but also you can kind of see an outline um, on the surface. Uh, above each bolt, which I'm assuming is going to be, um, it's a good sign because that might be, you know, just floating to the top of the actual, uh, uh, the actual muck. So um, I'm just going to pour this out, uh, clean off the bolts and nuts, and uh, let's see what we got. Well, what can I say? Um, they look nearly brand new I couldn't even get a uh, or barely uh, get a screwdriver in there before they were so gunked up now the heads just look brand new all the threads are great there's still a bit of I guess rust coloration where the rust was but there's no rust there anymore all oh, these are perfect. So what you want to do now is 
course now they're a little bit unprotected. So let's just put them on a on a rag. You can either use WD-40 or a little multi-purpose oil spray. That's what I'm going to use. Give them a covering. And there you go. Should last another uh, a good few years out in the out in the rain. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully it helps you as as much as it's gonna help me.